everybody, thank you for joining us again. We loved seeing all the images that you sent in from the last video, so please keep up the good work. Today we are going to draw a corgi from this book, Pop-Up Palace Pets. It's a book all about the royal family's furry friends. How does that sound, Winnie? So what you'll need today is a sheet of white paper and a pencil. So let's start drawing. off with, let's begin with the nose. This we will draw as a slightly wonky oval shape. From the bottom point of the nose we will draw two curved lines. This creates the mouth. Underneath this we can add in a chin with another curved line. Next we will draw the snout. For this we would draw a droplet shape all the way from the top of the head, around the mouth and up again. Either side of the snout and just above the nose we would draw the eyes. To do this we draw two medium sized circles. Either side of these draw two points to create an oval shaped eye. Inside the circles, draw another smaller circle to create the pupil. To add some expression, let's add in some eyebrows, which are created by a thicker line above each eye. Next, let's draw in the cheeks. To make these look like fur, let's draw three sweeping lines up towards the top of the head. Repeat this on the other side. Royal dogs must wear a crown. To create this, draw a narrow rectangle across the top of the head. Above this, add three pointed shapes, one on each side of the rectangle and one in the centre. Above the centre shape, draw a circle and connect this with two straight lines. Repeat this either side of the crown. Now let's add in some details, a cross at the top of the crown, some diamonds, and let's add in some fur details on the base. Now I think we should draw in the ears, so either side of the crown Draw a curved line that joins up with the top of the cheek. Inside these lines, draw another smaller curved line. And then to finish, join this line to the base of the crown. Next, let's draw the body. We will start with the back by drawing a sweeping line from the cheek down to where the tail will be. Next we will add in the back leg. So let's sweep the line round and draw in three loops for the paws. And then we'll draw in a straight line for the chest. And then we'll draw the front paw with two straight lines and three loops again for the paw. And then we'll join this all up to the head to create the chest. 
Next we will add in the missing front paw in the same way as the others. And then we'll draw in the fur lines because a lot of corgis have white paws and tummies and a brown body. No royal dog is one without a cushion. So let's do this by drawing two lines coming out from the dog's body, joined up with a curved line underneath. We can add in tassels by drawing a circle and then a triangle with lines inside. We'll do this one on each corner of the cushion. Now what's left to do is add in the fur. And let's add in some extra details to the crowns. And if you want to, you can draw two extra lines on the nose to create a more snap look. And we're done. So here's the finished drawing. Uh, looks like Winnie wants to be a palace pet too. We love seeing your drawings, so please do send them in on Instagram and Twitter.